Hello everyone, Creative Winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this presentation slide. The first step is to design the background and we have used dark color. After that we have to insert this rounded rectangle shape, reduce its height and width, make sure uh, there is no outline and then fill the color from the palette. So first you need to create a color palette and you can download lots of color palettes from the Google images there you can find lots of options after that you need to insert text box and we will write the first number that is one because it's a three-step process that we want to showcase here increase the size of the number use some nice designer font also make sure the font looks corporate if it's a corporate presentation you can choose the font based on the topic of the presentation i always use google fonts because those are readily available Just align the number with the previously built shape, the first shape that we had created and, and you have to do it manually, you just need to drag this number and just align it. Now the third step is to add a title for the first step. So like it's a three step process. So the topic of the first step, you can write it here. You can keep it in caps and use the desired font. Pick the color from the color palette. Increase the character spacing. Select the font size and align it with the first shape at the top, the rounded rectangle shape. Make sure both are left aligned. Keep the font in bold so that it is highly visible. Then duplicate this text box so that we can write some description here. I am using a dummy description and you can fill the description with your own content. You can do lots of stuff here, you can add icons, you can add some facts, some numbers based on your topic and information. I have increased the size of the number. Now you can select this rounded rectangle shape. I have slightly increased its height so that it is visible. It was very thin, but now it's it's looking much better now. Insert a line, place it horizontally, and fill the line color from the color palette. Select all these items. Press Ctrl plus G to group them, duplicate and here is your second step. Now you, you, you just need to change the number, title and description. Also make sure the text is very catchy and it is interesting so that user can easily understand after reading the text and text should be minimal and only the meaningful content should be present on the slide nowadays people spend less time reading content they want to interact with the content they want to engage and that's what they want to do 
that's why videos are getting popular nowadays so if you are writing long sentences or lines they don't want to read them so write important content only so now the next step is to move the numbers to the right because they are too close to the shape on the left side so we need some breathing space here so that's why I have moved them to the right also they are looking better in the bold so, so it's your choice and it's up to you if you want to keep them bold or regular now select all these grouped items and align them to center Also now we can change the background and we have changed it to gradient from the solid fill. The color is same but we just want to give a nice gradient background because gradient looks more lively, more real than the solid and even gradients are in demand nowadays so here is the final output before animation now comes the animation part animation is also very easy it looks difficult but it's really easy so here we will use fly in animation on the title make sure it comes from the left go to animation pane start with previous Increase the animation duration, go to options, move the slider to the right for smooth ending and in the timing as well make sure the duration is fine. Now select this component, again we will select fly in animation from the left. Increase the duration, start with previous, increase the delay so that it comes after the title. Now select this number here and use the fade animation because this component is large in size so it will not look good flying on the slide so that's why we have used fade animation then next we have used the title and on title we have applied the fly in animation again Increase the duration, select options and make sure it ends smoothly. Now select the line and the description and we will apply the flying animation on both these components. Increase the duration and delay so that it comes after the title. And increase the delay on the duration as well so that it comes after the line so you need, so you need to adjust these components and timings by doing it again and again until you get the best output so you have to experiment here with different options so once all these items are done and you are satisfied with the animation you can apply the same animation on the second and the third group as well so here you can see I'm experimenting with the different duration and the delays to make sure everything is running smoothly. So we applied the same animation on the second and the third group and I have skipped that part because the steps are repetitive and I'm sure you can do it so here I'm still trying to make sure everything looks perfect and the animation is smooth and that's the important part of this slide the animation should be very smooth
Now the next step is to add a nice reflection effect on this slide. I used to do that a lot in my older videos but I think it's a good idea to add light reflection effect on this slide because the background is dark and the reflection will look good. So you have to insert this triangle shape, fill white color, increase the transparency and you can see it's coming out really nicely. The effect is looking good here and what you can do is after adjusting the transparency you want to give it a nice curve for that you need to edit the points and you need to drag the points until you get the perfect curve like this Just keep on experimenting with the options here and keep trying until you get the best output which is very important. Make sure every animation is running smoothly, the, the reflection that you applied is looking nice. If it is not looking nice just remove it or try to further enhance it by using the, log, using the options. For example transparency or shadow, try different things. So here is the output and I think it is looking nice and it will float the boat. So now comes the final part of the animation. Currently the animation that we have applied is at the beginning. We want a continuous animation as well because if you remember in the beginning I have told you people want to see interactive content or engaging content where everything is supported by some animation some interaction so here what we will do is we will add a little animation here so you need to select these three shapes and go to custom paths and we will use the right animation and you need to drag the points to the left because we want to keep it small the distance should be small by default the distance is too much so now we have reduced that part now select all these three animations select start with previous increase the delay go to custom settings auto reverse change the duration to 10 seconds otherwise it will look too slow and if you will increase the duration beyond 20 seconds then it will look too slow and it will be unnoticeable so make sure it's around 10 to 15 seconds and it will look good Now let's see how it looks the first shape appeared now comes the second and now it's third and now they have started moving so now we need to fix the movement of these three shapes so that they start moving once they land so once they will once the flying animation stops they should start moving on their custom path for that we need to decrease the delay on each of these shapes so we need to start the animation for all these three components once their flying animation ends so here you can see all these three components appears on the screen and then they start moving What we need is 
once their fly in animation ends they should immediately start moving on their custom pads and that will look really nice and all of these three shapes will move independently initially you have seen that these three shapes were moving in synchronization but now these will move independently so I'm just testing how it looks and I'm just trying different things here tweaking the options making sure everything is moving perfectly so you know most of the time goes into these kind of things where you just make sure it looks perfect and now we need to reduce the delay so that it starts where its fly in animation ends so here we have to match the timing we have to note that no doubt not time where the fly in animation ends and then we have to start this animation here and same goes to the second shape we have to see where the fly in animation ends for this shape and from there we have to start uh, the custom path animation here so if you will select the shape both the animations will be highlighted on the animation pan the flying as well as, as the custom path like this both the animations are in red top one is fly in animation and the bottom one is custom pad so here is the final output i hope you will like it look at this beautiful design so please subscribe to our channel make sure you hit the bell icon as well also join the membership the more you will join the better support we will get hit the like button share your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to join so keep watching our videos Bye-bye and enjoy this beautiful design.